Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation, another episode. Um, today, it's uh, a little wet outside and uh, we're gonna be taking a walk. Uh, I gotta go uh, to the store. I'm out here in uh, a familiar neighborhood for some of you guys that kind of recognize it a little bit. I used to live around here. Um, but anyways, um, we're going back old school here. You know, like how we used to do when we did Monday Motivations. Now, today's Monday Motivation is simply, um, I don't know what I'm titling this, so we're gonna figure that out later. You know, by the time you click on it and click on the thumbnail and all that other stuff. Um, I have a bunch of little notes here that I wrote down in order, you know, to talk, you know, about, uh, you know, some motivating factors. And uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my day today, a little bit about what's going on. And, uh, you know, we'll use these as uh, little talking off points, you know, to go, <laughs> To, to keep going so all right basically today um i came to uh you know visit a friend uh we had to you know do some work together and um as i was here um all of a sudden it started raining really really hard and i had a bunch of errands and a bunch of other things that i had to do so i was like all right well i can't leave can i there's nothing i can do um and the rain wouldn't let up so we just stayed there and we were just chilling and chilling and chilling and then uh you know, to me, I could have easily said, you know, let me just uh, get out of here and cut my losses. But I said, no, let me wait. And because uh, I had to film this episode, you know, the thing is that, remember, it's all about Monday motivation. So the motivation goes uh, on many, uh, for many things. Not just for you, but for me and for everybody. Let me show you a little bit around of uh, where we're at. All right, I can cross now. All right, so we got some new technology out here. I haven't been in my neighborhood in a while. So look at that. So anyways, <laughs> um, I digress. So um, yeah, the motivation factor of uh, the fact that I know I'm gonna wait it out because I have to make a Monday motivation one way or the other. I was even thinking to myself, all right, if it keeps raining, um, I guess when I get home, you know, after I run a few of the errands, uh, I'll just uh, go in the rain and you know, the GoPro is uh, wet, you know, wet proof, you know? So it's like, let's uh, let's just do it that way. Um, but the, the rain let up and uh, I got to spend some quality time with my friend uh, and uh, I'm still motivated to do this even though, to tell you the truth, after sitting there hanging out for a while, you know, having a few uh, libations together, you know, the motivation started waning down, but you gotta get up and you gotta go do it. So the thing is that, you know, what makes me get up and do these things, what makes me get up and, uh, you know, want to, you know, show you guys, all right, let me walk around this way because we got we got some people working there i don't want to get in the middle while they're working but um yeah at the end of the day you know um it's up to you you know what i mean like uh, the whole motivation um you at the very least watching this video you know um and putting yourself in that position in order to start getting motivated <laughs> you know that is a step in the right direction trust me you're doing the right thing i mean that's what i would do um Sometimes I also got to watch certain things and do certain things and, uh, you know, just get a little pumped. So sometimes before my live streams, you know, have you noticed that I'm putting some of that uh, more exciting music or a little bit more of that, uh, you know, pump it up or what have you? Um, the reason I'm really doing that is uh, to get myself pumped up as well in order to energize myself. You know, you got to like, uh, you know, you got to do whatever it takes in order to... Uh, you know get yourself to the right state of mind in order to accomplish and do what you need to do um and uh it's a uh, very different for everybody all right let me see if i can cross over here and it's a uh, very different for everybody and so um what you need to do is figure out what you got to do for yourself in order to uh motivate yourself so you know whether it's listening to some music you know, whether it's, um, you know, watching some motivational videos, whether it's um, having a routine, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is, you know, you gotta, you know, figure out what works best for you and start doing it. That's why, I mean, I'm always telling people and a lot of these motivational whatever are always telling uh, everyone is like, look, you gotta just do it. I think mean, that's basically what it, work with. what it all always boils down to is uh, you gotta just do it just do it and, and it's true you gotta just do it but there's steps to this you know there's levels to this and uh you know at the very least you know we gotta admit 
there are certain like little cheat codes you know or certain uh you know different tactics that you can use in order to make these things easier so you know me taking a walk by the way i gotta do a little stretching of my uh my leg here for a minute so we're gonna do it together but you know me taking my walk with you guys and see if we can do it together all right there we go uh let's stretch for one second a little little pause in the action okay i think that works <laughs> but uh you know that's a perfect example so me taking a walk that i need to take no matter what because i need to get some exercise um and i need to stay active and oh yada 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 um i, I turn that into a double positive you know where i take you guys with me when i'm on my bike when i'm taking a walk when i'm doing all these things you know again i am uh literally motivating myself to do some exercise it would be probably a lot harder for me to just go up and do this on my own sure i can do it with some music but it's so much awesomer if i get to talk to you guys while i do it it's just straight up and i get to show you guys you know a little bit and i get to cross promote some of my other content by the way so i live in merida mexico the yucatan for any new viewers out there and if you guys want to see more of where i live you can check out my other channel um and check out my other content all the links are down below websites down below very click 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 and you're there so anyways yeah look at that it's like a museum now anyways so yeah things are opening up things are getting better yay yay we're defeated it okay so yeah man you know part of the whole motivation you know um what you're doing now by watching me and watching uh the content by the way i'm keeping my face on this because this is monday motivation you need to see my face Bruh. and uh, that's what we're doing that otherwise if you want to see this if you want to see this direction and you want to see you know more of what's really going on out here and all that jazz then you're gonna watch my other channel all right where i film this stuff to death all right so gonna put the camera back on me but anyways bruh so you know with the whole uh you know monday motivation look man at the end of the day it's like this um stop complaining all right nobody cares nobody gives a fuck this is straight up the truth anyone that you complain to you are just sucking up their resources and sucking up their life force and making fucking uh them hate you more and more every day sure sure really good friends of yours you know they'll be okay with uh every once in a while you know you gotta share your problems talk about whatever you know all that good stuff that's what friends are for right after all um but don't be bogging them down with your fucking problems all the time don't be doing that with other people because they're not going to want to be with you around you none of that keep that in mind so and again nobody cares you know why because when other people come to you with their problems you don't care so it's just straight up you know unless there's someone that means something to you all right um and that's it it's just a 100 percent so at the end of the day you know you need to um you know simply just uh you know like i said you know suck it up and get to work and um and do whatever it takes you know whatever whatever it is if you work better in the mornings or instead of the nighttime let's start changing you know your schedule you know whatever you gotta make your life easier you know what i mean uh in order for you to do the things that you want to do um and um as you make these uh small little changes here and there by you know watching a video or listening to some music or uh you know um getting some exercise or changing up your routine or getting a routine you know whatever it is you're gonna do you know at the end of the day it's uh you know it's up to you guys you need to you know you need to start doing these small little steps in order for you to get to that next level you know which is like for example a lot of people are like oh i want to live where you live i want to be out here i want to have this life or what have you I'm like well oh, just it takes it's not that easy but you can do it but it can be done it's probably a lot easier than you think 
it is a lot easier than you think and um and that's it you know what i mean at the end of the day it's uh you know what you need to be doing is that look no one controls you all right no one controls you you are the only one that you know allow uh, other things or other people or what have you control you it's as simple as that even now so many people are worried about so many things and well look you guys most of you guys you already know you can do something about it so do something about it that's it most of the people that cannot do something about it they're not sitting there trying to figure they're not trying to sit how oh, i says the ones that cannot do anything about it that are really you know in dire straits they're not contacting me or they're not watching these videos uh trying to motivate they're they're they're, they're figuring it out they're doing it they're already trying to survive they're trying they're in that in that mode and so the reality is is that you know like i keep saying you're not hungry enough you know you're not in dire straits enough you know like there's no good there's no better motivator than being hungry than being uh you know um at your wits end and being in a hard and difficult situation and so on and so forth so you know if you are not um how do i say this if it's not difficult then what are you even really doing you know i, I mean that's it you know like there's easy things that you know we can enjoy in life but for example you can sit at home all right you can sit at home all day and drink cheese i mean drink wine and cheese okay just do that all day and um you know you'll be very happy and very comfortable and all that jazz you know or you can uh be a little bit uncomfortable and say hey you know what i'm gonna travel the world and i'm gonna try wine and cheese all over europe all over latin america all over yada 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 and dedicate yourself to that you know say hey i'm gonna make a stand here what i'm gonna do is that like um i want to enjoy my life and in order to do that it's it's going to be difficult you got to do difficult things you know and those difficult things might entail just hey to travel and travel travel is not necessarily the easiest thing i get it but the reward are you know very you know very uh, immense so you know at the end of the day it's as simple as you know do you do you want it bad enough you know like i always tell people like i'm always you know um letting everybody know because of, look <laughs> watch where i'm going there because a lot of people you know the reality is there let me see if i can cross now a lot of people all they do is complain and complain and complain and complain and they don't do anything about it they don't make a change they don't anything all they do is constantly complain about everything around them in their life and the position they're in and all this other stuff and they don't they don't change it they don't do something about it there's a million solutions to your problems and at the end of the day you don't even need a million you just need one and most of it is taking action and taking accountability and uh you know while well, whether you, again um whether you want it bad enough or not and it's a uh, it's as simple as that you know everybody out there you know everybody out there you know constantly ah, look at that i got water in my eye there oh my god a little little bit of a anyways anyway everyone's always constantly complaining about you know the fact that you know um that woe is me my life sucks this is terrible oh my god you know what i mean like all these negative things about how terrible their life is and how terrible it is around them when you know all you really got to do is just realize how good you have it no matter where you are and what you have if you are watching this video you got it pretty good and if uh and if things are getting pretty bad around you well you need to make a choice about what you're going to do all right uh, but you still have resources to you know change and better your scenario it's up to you whether you're going to take that or not and so at the end of the day you know almost every not almost everybody i would say you know watching this video or almost everybody out there no matter what your situation no matter where you are um there's a a, a way out there's a solution there's uh many things you can do about it and um 
if you just sit there and take it no matter what that is no matter what that it is it's it's basically your fault and nobody else's fault but your fault and uh you know once you start taking accountability accountability um then that's when you really realize oh wait a minute you know um you know things really start going your way when you realize that no matter what the hell happens no matter what like if i get splashed by the water on on, on you know anywhere along the line here it's my fault it is not the fault of anybody else now listen there is a 0.1% chance that it could be somebody else's fault. But the reality is that how the universe works, it's always your fault. It's always your fault. So as long as you take accountability for whatever it is that happens, you know, um, if, um, if you are responsible enough to realize that just about anything and everything that happens to you is your fault, your doing your creation then maybe you can start figuring out how to get out of that you know what i mean um because you know meaning you know get out of that woe is me because once you realize oh my god wait a minute everything is my fault and you stopped and you stop blaming other people and you take accountability for all your actions and you realize that the reality is that it's not them it's you okay um that's when things really change because the reality is that you can't change yourself. You're just you. I mean, you know, I mean, what I'm saying is that, okay, you can't change anybody. You can only change yourself. But what I'm saying is that by changing yourself, I don't mean transform into something completely different. Well, I, I do mean that. Man, I suck at this. No, what I mean is that you simply need to change your thinking so that you realize that you are you and you gotta stop making apologies for you, accept you, love you, take care of you, just be you, it's all for you. And once you do all that, that's when you can really start, you know, helping everybody else. That's when you, everybody else, uh, you know, can take advantage of, uh, you know, um, everything that you're doing for yourself to better yourself, um, well, in turn, better everybody else's life around you. And especially if you're one of those people that likes to help people. No matter what it is the more you take care of yourself the more you're able to take care of other people because if you're not at your 100 if you're not at your best then you're not going to give your best to anybody and so you know you need to take care of yourself and make sure that you are at your best and um and that's what i'm saying you got to do whatever it takes that's what i'm saying you got to do all the little tricks you got to do all the little things whatever it takes to get you that motivation whatever it takes i just got hit in the head with some water there Rain drops are falling on my head. <laughs> Anyways, you got to do whatever it takes at all costs, okay? In order to motivate yourself to get to that point, all right? To accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, whatever that is, because I don't know what you want to do. I don't know you. You know me. I don't know you. So, yeah, we're approaching the bank here real quick. I got to make a transactions here at the banks. And then after we do that, I'm going to keep walking a little bit more. We're on our way to Walmarts, and uh, we're going to finish up this uh this whole thing here look how hot it is right look check this out here look how hot it is that it's uh i don't know if you can do it from here it's a yeah look that's how hot it is right that's how humid it is welcome to the tropics folks it's not it's not as easy as uh as uh people on tv make it out to seem all right so all right Back to my tropical lifestyle out here. I'll see you guys in a few. Like, do you understand what's, there's, there's genocide going on right now. Like, what do you think's going on? Like, we lack perspective. Your conference got fucked up? Boo hoo, I lost a client? Boo hoo, there's people fucking dying out there. Like, like, so when Americans or Europeans talk to me about race or gender, I'm sad, it's their real life, but I remind them, because it's a positive thing, cool, but, let me tell you about the person that's ranked seven billion in the world. They fucking have it bad. We got real, like listen, you know I got hot on this about a year ago, the 400 trillion to one. It's impossible to be a human being. You won.
400 trillion to one. When you understand that math, how can't you live your life? That's how rare it is to be a human being. You've been given this ridiculous triple miracle. You've got one at bat, please do something about it. We are living through the greatest era to be alive ever. Yes, there's stuff. I got news for you, there's always stuff. But when you take control of your at bat, when you put it all on yourself, when it's your fault and your wins, when you own it, that's when it starts happening. So please, please squeeze the shit out of your one life. It's impossible to be a human being. You won. I don't know how to get upset after that. I keep shit in perspective. Uh, You know why I'm always happy? I blame myself. When you blame yourself for real, you're gonna always be happy. Because you don't feel like somebody else controls you. This is the reason I'm happy 24-7, 365 for the rest of my life. 400 trillion to one. The odds of becoming a human being. It's, it's about eliminating being at the mercy of anything or anyone. Like, I just don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You gotta start with yourself because when you're actually allowing other people to get in, you're vulnerable. On me, on me, on me. My fault. There's nothing you can say. My big thing is, don't complain. You're in control. So many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. If you're complaining, do something about it. I don't know if anybody knows, but slavery's been gone for a while. Your boss might be the biggest jerk of all time, but guess what? You can go get another job. Right now, wrap your head around this ridiculous gift that you were given, it's called life. You're using your fucking eyes to watch this and your ears to listen. Go step out and do your thing. The one thing you've always wanted to do or the 10, 50, 100 things you've always tried to do. Because the only thing that's keeping you back is the other people that are judging you. And who gives a fuck about them? (laughs) All right, we're out of that uh, air-conditioned goodness uh, little room there uh, where the ATMs were stored. Was it, actually, it was not actually that cold in there. See, it's really kind of warm and humid at the moment. Anywho, um, yeah, and I was just informed by somebody out there that went to Miami that says it's, it's hot, that it is hotter out here. You know what, whatever, it is hotter out here, okay? I guess it is, I don't know, I'm wrong. Anyways, so with that being said, you know, that's bringing up to my last and final point. The truth will set you free, my friends, the truth. So you gotta be honest 100% with yourself, with yourself. Well, with everybody too, I mean, obviously. Bruh. <laughs> but with yourself, okay? That's really all that matters. That's what we're talking about here. Um, and always, you know, um, it's always about you, all right? So, but anyways, you have to be honest with yourself and you gotta be truthful with everything and anything. So, you know, if you are uh, if you are eating that extra Twinkie at the end of the night, like I do sometimes, you're only lying to yourself. If, um, you know, uh, whatever, whatever it is you do, whatever bad thing you do against you, especially you know what I mean um, whatever excuse that you use whatever thing that you use in order to uh, um, lie to yourself okay um, those are also tools you know because you you can use tools to lie to yourself in many ways you know I mean huh, you can use tools in many ways you can lie to yourself in which these tools you know make it so easy or make it so to the point where you don't want to do said thing that you need to do because you use that crutch you use that tool okay um that comfort um as opposed to using another tool you know which again is the music or the motivational video or the whatever it is you're doing out there so you know it's it's again don't be a tool use use the tools or otherwise you are the tool you know um how about that so with that being said guys you know you really need to uh you know uh be honest with yourself for more than anything else all right if there's one tip if there's one thing that i would say to you if there's one little thing is that you got to be honest man with yourself and in turn with everybody else and with the world and um when you're honest with yourself and you're honest and you're truthful about your goals your life your what you want to do all that stuff then all of a sudden you can start you know getting the accountability under control and start taking accountability for all of your actions whatever they are 
and um and know that at the end of the day it's um the more honest you keep it the more 100 you keep it the more real you keep it the more authentic you keep it the better your life is going to go that's it i mean that's why a lot of people are like wow i love how you do your thing and you're so honest and this and you're so um authentic and what and i'm like man it's just because that's the only way to be that's the only way to be any other way is uh you're just lying to yourself you're lying to everybody you know if you're lying to yourself i mean you're lying to everybody and it's just uh it's no bueno all right we got 40 seconds to cross this let's see this is wish me luck all right let's do it dun, 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 dun. we're jogging across let's do this get the little workout i was gonna wait but I, <laughs> I said to myself no you can do this you can do this all right maybe not this little end here but we got this we made it we are free and it only took a small little jog across this thing that they just built out here some of you have to cross more horrible borders all right whether they're mental or physical <clears throat> but you can do it and now i am here at the glorious walmart where i could do my glorious shopping for my american products so i can have a little bit of comfort in my life and make things a little bit easier for me for you for all of us all right all right when i'm buying when i'm out here buying my almond butter all right and uh and eating my uh whatever other fancy thing there is in there um it's because of you all right i do it for you all right i'm fancy for you so with that being said uh i gotta get going because i gotta keep it fancy so you know what's up all right guys thanks thanks again for watching you know if you like this kind of content you already know what to do don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome i'll see you on the next one and that could be on the multiple channels that i have below so please check them all check out my website check it's all free it's all free none of this is costing you anything you want to help me do some other free stuff for me hit the like button and uh sh watch the other videos share the content you already know what to do just do it thanks again for watching i'll see you on the next one bye